using quantum computing for financial risk analysis. I'm Tanya Hall for ZDNet and Tech Republic, and joining me is Dr. Stefan Werner, Global Leader, Quantum Finance and Optimization, IBM Research, Zurich. Welcome, Dr. Werner. So let's start with a quick review of the science of risk analysis. What kinds of questions do you attempt to answer in this field? So assume you hold a portfolio of financial products and the value or your profit and loss depends on the development of future prices. Now, since these prices are uncertain and you don't know exactly how they develop, uh, the question we, we want to answer is, with what confidence do, uh, does our capital on hand really, uh, is, is our capital on hand enough to, um, to not go bankrupt? The Monte Carlo simulation is often used in risk analysis. Explain the basics of how that works. So as I mentioned, these uh, uncertain future prices, that can be simulated. You can assume a stochastic model to, uh, to sample from, from, uh, for future prices. So you draw random samples of future realizations of, of uh, these prices. So if you do this often enough, and if your model is good enough, then it gives you a an, an, uh, possibility to estimate, let's say the probability that a certain loss is exceeded. And, uh, here you need to draw millions of samples sometimes to get reasonable uh, accuracies in your estimation, but that's essentially what Monte Carlo simulation is. How is IBM applying quantum computing to the field of risk analysis today, and what are the benefits of that? So we developed an algorithm that can answer questions like, like this, that, that can estimate the risk for a given portfolio or for a given uh, financial derivatives. And the classical Monte Carlo, as I mentioned, requires millions of samples to get a reasonable accuracy. Now, with a quantum algorithm that we developed, this um, can be reduced significantly. And we talk here about a quadratic speeder. That means that the millions of classical samples could be replaced by a few thousand quantum samples. And you can imagine that um, today, these simulations can, can run overnight. Sometimes for large portfolios, they even uh, take weeks. So, with a quadratic speedup, we might be able in the future to reduce this computation time from, from weeks, maybe two hours, or from overnight to near real time. And that would allow, um, instead of looking backwards and what was the risk that we had yesterday, to, to make a more uh, informed decision on the risk that we have now. What adjustments or optimizations do you have to make to the models in order to run them on a quantum computer? So there are different steps that you have to take. Uh, a quantum computer is not programmed like a classical computer. It's a completely different way of programming a, a computer. So one thing is we have to um, find a good way to map the, the uncertainty model to, to sample from these prices into the quantum computer. Because the quantum computer does not, um, does not sample in the same way. The quantum computer, due to, to its ability to uh, have superposition states, can represent the distribution as a whole. So you map the full distribution, the full uncertainty model of your problem into a superposition state, and then you can work with the, with the whole object. Is the data set needed for the quantum algorithm to operate any different than from what's used on a traditional computer? Actually, no. We are currently working on techniques to learn the uncertainty model for a quantum computer from historical data so that you can train your quantum computer on historical data, and then this trained loading scheme you can use uh, in your risk analysis algorithm. So then will quantum computers become the normal tools used in risk analysis anytime soon, or will it be special purpose tool for limited applications? So it certainly will take a while until a quantum computer has the right size and scale to run um, these type of algorithms for problems of uh, practical relevance. But once we, once we achieve this scale, then it, it could, be, could be an option to, to run these kind of applications on a quantum computer. Dr. Stefan Werner, Global Leader, Quantum Finance and Optimization, IBM Research Zurich. If somebody wants to connect with you, what's the best way they can do that? You can find me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, feel free to connect. Or you can also find my email address on the IBM Research uh, Researcher website. Thanks again. And if you guys want to find more of my interviews, you can do that right here on ZDNet or Tech Republic or go to my website, tanyahall.net.
Thanks for watching.